Good morning. Good morning. Sometimes, out of confusion, maybe our fellow fellow men and also we might question or ask ourselves: Is faith really changes people's lives? Is it faith really saves us from poverty? Is it faith heals the sick? Or how does faith bring us hope and joy? How does faith change our point of, point of view in life? Or how does, how does a faith forgive sins? In short, there is doubt. There is doubt, especially in times we came in to a point that we mistakenly compare ourselves with others. And then, we might come up with a question of why it didn't happen to me. I have faith. He has faith. They have faith. But why am I still poor? But why I cannot move forward? My faith is stronger than them. But why am, am I still stagnant? And these questions of doubt might be answered by the world. Just like the crowds or the people from the gospel this morning. I think that these crowds, although it is not stated, are faith believers because they knew Beelzebul. They knew what this prince of demon can do. And they came to a point of comparing themselves with Jesus. They have faith, but why they cannot cast demons? By, by, uh, but, what, but why they cannot heal the sick? So that's why they came with an answer that the power that Jesus possessed comes from Beelzebub. And our Lord Jesus Christ answered them intellectually. If his power is from Beelzebub, then why it can, can, why it can cast out demons? Meaning, no power should destroy its own domain where the one who gave it reigns. As Jesus Christ said, every kingdom divided itself will be laid waste and house will fall against house. Now, as the people of God, it, we should remember that we should not bite each other's tail using the power of God that give it to us. Brothers and sisters, we will let the kingdom of God reign here on earth. And may the power of God that comes with our talent, skills, and gifts be a motivation for others to keep the faith, make it grow, and move forward. May that power won't make us destroy each other. That power should break every conflict of every people of God. That power should end injustices, unfairness, and inequities, inequities of every nation. The power that comes also from the body of blood, body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The power that never divides but always unites. The power of love. Good morning and thank you. Please stand.